Hey guys, Hannah Gardner here. Welcome to this video. I'll be showing you exactly how I created over $4,000 of LTV lifetime value clients for a beauty salon. The exact campaigns I ran, how I created the landing page for them, how I transferred the data to them so they could see all the new um, leads that they're getting and how I do my follow-up. You can go out and do the same thing for your own beauty salon or if you want to get a beauty salon client. It's going to be a full training so if you do enjoy all of this knowledge that I'm going to be giving you, please don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in one second. Guys, welcome back all right so in this video as I said in the intro we're going over how to run Facebook ads for hair salon clients I'm gonna be showing you exactly how I made worst case four thousand dollars of lifetime value new clients um, for this beauty salon in less than six days and I only spent two hundred dollars in ad spend so I'm gonna be showing you not only the ad well you can see right here but um, I'm gonna be showing you every step after that that makes this ad work. So the ad is really the only first part of social media marketing or paid advertisement for hair salons. There's a lot of other steps that have to happen to make sure that you get your money's worth or your ROI. And if you don't know what LTV means, it means lifetime value. So the average girl probably spends around 500 to 800 dollars a year on her hair um that's if they're getting color and cuts and whatever they want to do um to their hair extensions the average lifetime value of a salon client per year is around 500 to 800 dollars so worst case um if only you know eight of these clients that came in 50 we so the salon that I ran this for got 15 bookings from 64 leads so what that actually means is that you have 64 leads that redeemed this voucher um, and out of those 64 leads 15 that I know of um, of those people actually came in and had bookings and had some kind of service done so if even just half of these 15 people become lifetime customers customers that repeat that come back time and time again then that's how I calculated that we made around four thousand dollars in lifetime value customers so and that's worst case so and on top of it <laughs> there was a huge missing part of this case study that the salon wasn't even doing so this number technically could have been doubled if they were doing a piece of this puzzle correctly but they weren't so really powerful stuff that you could be running for your salon um so first let's just go over the ad um and what i actually put out to get these 64 leads come in. Um, so again, this is 64 people that redeemed this offer right here. Um, the ad itself read, hey, Port St. Lucie ladies, we're doing something crazy. We're giving all first time clients 20% off their entire first, their off their entire service. Just click the link below and sign up to grab your voucher. We want to make you look and feel beautiful as we enter the new year. So this was coming up to the end of December of 2018 and we're giving them 20% off for all new clients. So people that have been to their salon before and they're in the books can't redeem this voucher. Um, it was really cool because we built up a lot of social proof. It's a really good salon in the area. They got 20 shares, 25 comments. You know, this is probably the most engagement this salon has ever had on social media on any of their posts. And again, we only spent $200 to get 15 new clients. This again could have been 30 new clients. Um, so yeah, and it, this video was a video of a commercial that they had in their salon. Now you don't have to use video content. Video content is just always better. But if your salon doesn't have video content, um, you know, you can just do a picture of like use just like this picture that you see here of someone getting their hair done, or it could even just be the owner literally holding a camera saying, Hey, my name's so and so I'm the owner of blank salon. Um, we're offering this and literally just filming a video with their phone. And that can be the ad. It's as simple as that. 
Um, but yeah, it was pretty simple, 20% off. Um, and I'm gonna show you the next step of what happens after they press get offer. Um, but first, let me actually show you how you can create this ad. Um, so what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna come into your Facebook manager. Um, you have manage ads, your Facebook page. Um, oh, sorry. So you're gonna wanna go to, oh, that's manage pages. You wanna go to manage ads, there we go. Um, we're gonna go to ads manager. So I have a lot of accounts in here. That's just because of all of my clients that I work with. Where is she? Oh, let's go, it's here. Swan Identity Ads Manager, okay. Why? Okay, here we go. All right, so we're looking for this ad that Okay, sorry about that. So I picked an ad here. Um, this is the inside of your ads manager. And what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna run a conversion campaign. This is really, really simple to set up. So in your ads manager, you're gonna run a conversion campaign. Um, when you get to the ad set level, um, we can optimize for leads here. Um, but the more important stuff here is your budget. So we did a lifetime budget and we ran it for a week. Um, you can turn it off and on. It has, as you see, it's performing. Um, and all we did was target women in Port St. Lucie, Florida of a 10 mile radius of the exact location of the beauty salon. So literally a 10 mile radius, you can actually make this a little bit less. You can make it like, you know, five to eight miles if you want um, closer can be better. So this one was 10 miles. Um, I was just targeting women in, and the only interest that I included was people that were interested in beauty salons and hair products. And that was literally the targeting. Super, super simple. Um, the placement was only in feeds. So it was only showing on Facebook. This marketplace was clicked. I don't know how that got there, but it's supposed to be just feeds. Um, really simple. Um, all mobile devices only when connected to Wi-Fi because you don't want to pay for a click if someone like loses their Wi-Fi in the middle of the offer or something. So I click when connected to Wi-Fi because it just kind of ensures that they're not like the chance offset the off chance of someone like losing connection in the middle of trying to redeem the voucher isn't lost. Um, but yeah, basically that's what the ad looks like. And as you can see here, super simple, it's the video. And then the gift get offer is the call to action. Now, the next step of this is like, how do we make this all worth it, right? How do we make all the money and the time that we just spent making this ad that probably took you five minutes <laughs> um, worth your while? So when they press get offer, you want to lead them to a landing page. Um, in this case, the landing page that I created looked like this. This actually is a different offer because we're running it for eyelash extensions right now. But it's a simple landing page that looks like this and you wanna make sure that it looks good on mobile view because most of these are gonna be redeemed on their phones. So this is what it looks like. Now I make really stupid simple landing pages inside of a platform called Kartra. Um, there's a link in the description for you to check out Kartra and try out a trial if you don't have like a web developer or maybe you don't even have a website um, or you're just trying to do this for a client and you don't really have like a ClickFunnels or something. I use Kartra, it's cheaper than ClickFunnels and it already has built in email automation. Um, so I know like with some other platforms you have to pay for email automation. Kartra email automations included. Um, so this is what I use and it's literally drag and drop pages. So it's super, super simple and it's a really sexy platform. So yeah, this is what the landing page looks like. And it just basically says what the offer was. This is $10 off your full first set of classic eyelash extensions. In your case, or this the case of the ad that you saw, it's 20% off your first time. 
Um, you can put the location of where the salon's located. I always put Facebook reviews on the landing pages. Facebook reviews are proven to convert higher than like any other type of review, like than a Google review or Yelp review or something. Um, I don't know why people trust Facebook, I guess. Um, put some reviews in there. And basically I put perceived scarcity. So only 50 bookings available, even though we're taking more bookings than that, but it's fine. And so what happens is we collect their name, their email, and their phone number. And when it says, yes, claim my voucher, what happens instantly is that they get an email of the voucher and they get a um, text. Oh, so they have to get, so they get reminded and texted of their voucher um, right away. So just because somebody redeemed a coupon or whatever, it doesn't mean that they're actually going to convert and use it. So we start setting up automations to make sure that they are constantly being reminded that they went through seven steps to get this voucher and we want them to use it. So um, that's why we collect the name and the email. And when they hit yes, claim my voucher, it goes to a thank you page. The thank you page says, please check your text, email, inbox, and promos for your voucher. Um, your $10 off eyelash voucher is on its way. Check your spam just in case. Before you go, call now to book in. Your voucher expires in blank amount of time. If you do want these vouchers to expire, I recommend that you do do this just so um, so uh, so they they have urgency to actually go and redeem the voucher. Um, some people they actually put another offer that says here before you go call now and we'll also give you a free deep conditioning treatment only if you call now and then you can make this countdown timer um, like. 10 minutes or something saying like, you have to call within these 10 minutes to book your appointment to also get this other free thing, which would guarantee more bookings. So this is still only the beginning stages of how all this becomes important. Um, so basically now in Kartra, I have an automation set up. So they're getting an email sequence, which is like a four day email sequence. Um, and they're also getting text reminders that their voucher, you're running out of time, your voucher is gonna expire if they haven't booked their appointment. So what I actually do is I use a Google sheet um, that looks like this. Um, and there's a program called Zapier. I'm not gonna show you it, but well, I guess I can show you. Zapier.com that will integrate with your Kartra account. And what Zapier actually does is it takes this information here, someone's name, phone number, and their email address and it can take this data and it can transfer that information into a Google Sheet. So this is a Google Sheet here of everybody, all of the leads that I got. So as the leads are coming in live, I'm using Zapier to zap all of their my, the people's information into a Google Sheet um, that the salon now has. So that Google Sheet gets shared with the salon. So as in real time, these leads are coming in, the people at the salon are making a phone call back to remind, to get the people to book an appointment. So you want them to be calling back the leads like within two hours of them actually getting the thing um, and saying, hey, um, Julia, I saw that you just got your voucher. We have a you know an, uh, a, an available appointment for this Tuesday at three o'clock. Does that work for you? Um, just so we can solidify um, your booking or whatever. And so they're actually getting a text, the email and the phone call. And it, it, that might seem very aggressive in the follow-up, but it's something like someone needs 22 touches before they actually buy. Um, and they just constantly need to be reminded. And you're coming from a place of, hey, I know you wanted this thing. I'm just making sure that you're getting what you wanted because you went through seven steps to get this thing. You had to see the ad, you had to click the ad, and you had to see the ad, you had to read the ad, you had to click the ad, you had to put in your name, your phone number, your email, and then you had to press submit. So you went through seven steps to get this thing. I just wanna make sure that you're being taken care of. And so when all your follow-up is coming from that place, it's not really annoying as much as like, hey, we just want to make sure that like you're getting what you wanted. Um, so that's basically what happens with that. Um, it's really that simple. Yeah, we get the landing page, they get the email, the text and the callback. Um, so the salon that I was actually just working with, they weren't even calling people back. 
And I almost can guarantee that the 15 people that actually came in out of the 64, that could have probably been double if they were actually making those phone calls back in a timely manner, but they weren't actually doing that. So make sure that your client or your salon is actually calling back the leads if you want to make it worthwhile. People say they want leads all day long, but then when they actually have to like work, they like don't want to work. So <laughs> make sure that you're either make sure you're, you're calling back, make, make sure that your employees are calling back the leads, you're calling back the leads or have some system to ensure that your client so if you're an agency and you're getting a salon, um, a salon client, make sure that they're calling back the leads because they're going to come bitching at you when they're not getting people coming in the doors, when it's really falling on them to make the phone call and they're not making the phone call. The phone call is very important. Um, and if you are an agency and you want to be able to ensure that they're picking up the phone and stuff, there's some there's a system called call rail where you can cloak the business's phone number. Um, so if say people are actually calling in and like the front desk is just doing a bad job and not picking up the phone, you will actually have proof of that because you'll be seeing people calling the numbers and no one's picking up the phone or maybe the front desk is being rude or something. So you as an agency owner can prove that, Hey, I have leads calling you asking to buy what you have to sell and you're not picking up the phone. So that's something that you can use as an agency. Um, but for the most part, it's really that simple. Um, and oh, and also I use Twilio. Twilio integrates very easily with Kartra. So this is my Kartra account um, that I use for the landing pages and the emails. So if you come up here um, to communications, you can create um, sequences so you can link these sequences to the forms that people are filling out like their name their phone number email and as soon as they fill out that form it starts firing off email sequences as well as text sequences so an email sequence is just like you know a four four day email follow-up that fires you know one day in between like the first day they get an email two days later they get another email um so that's already built into Kartra and it's included in the price um same thing with twilio twilio integrates with Kartra as well super easy um so as soon as they fill out that form they put in their phone number they hit submit twilio will fire off a text saying you your confirmation of your your voucher call this number blah 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 Da, da, da. So yeah, super, super easy. Um, Twilio is like 0.0015 cents per text message. So really cheap, um, not going to break the bank. But yeah, that's basically everything that I do. Um, that's how I got over $4,000 in lifetime value clients um, with just spending $200. So if you guys do have any questions, just comment down below. Um, and if you did enjoy this video and you thought it was valuable, don't forget to like and subscribe. All right, guys, I'll talk to you later.